Pucho. Please be seated. Um, Le président. The court is now back Veuillez vous asseoir. Session. Reprise de l'audience. Once again, the floor is given to Judge Lavergne to continue putting questions to this witness. Judge Lavergne, je vous en prie, vous pouvez poursuivre votre interrogatoire du témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Monsieur le témoin, uh, m'entendez-vous Monsieur le Président, vous pouvez m'entendre Oui, je peux vous entendre maintenant, Judge. À présent, je vous entends. Bien, j'aurai euh, trois well, dernières I questions à vous poser. La première concerne les raisons euh, qui vous faisaient désirer très fortement de rentrer au Kampuchea démocratique. Euh, quelles étaient ces raisons En 1975. My reason was like the reasons of all my other colleagues. C'était pour les mêmes raisons que mes collègues au pays après le 17 avril 1975, la guerre a pris fin, nous sommes réjouis. Wanted to return to the country to help in its rebuilding. Pour contribuer à sa reconstruction. The students who had come for for several years studying in France wanted to return to find and unite with their family members. And I was in the same position. C'était la même chose However, pour moi. However, as I stated from the beginning, fois, I launched my application, but I was not called for the interview because my eldest son was born mon in premier fils venait de naître. May 1975, which was less than one month after the liberation. C'était au mois de mai 1975, soit moins d'un mois après la libération. Donc, monsieur, vous aviez toute confiance so, dans les autorités du Kampuchea démocratique pour assurer un accueil de tous ces Cambodgiens, un accueil qui soit euh, bienveillant et qui soit chaleureux. Yes, that is correct, John. Effectivement, monsieur le juge. Et est-ce qu'une des raisons pour lesquelles And vous étiez aussi the, confiant ne tenait-elle pas au fait que M. Kyusampan avait un rôle éminent au sein des dirigeants du Kampuchea démocratique Mr. Kiyosampon's role at the time, as I knew it, he was the president of the state presidium. And of course, if he could live in the country, I could also live in the country. And that's where I placed my trust. C'est pourquoi. And my colleagues who returned to Cambodia, they were in several numbers. Ils étaient un certain nombre. Et Monsieur le témoin, j'ai une autre question. Est-ce que peut-être avez-vous déjà répondu à cette question Je ne sais rien. Je ne sais pas bien entendu. Est-ce que parmi les membres de votre famille, vous connaissez un Monsieur Chao Seng Did you know a certain Mr. Chao Seng no, Chao Seng, but I am Je not related Chao to him. Seng, mais ce n'est pas un membre de ma Mr. famille. Mr. Chao Seng and I came from Monsieur the Chao same Seng place that is venons du même endroit. my place of birth. Nous venons Zwei même Do, village and I met natal him in Zwei France Tom. before his returning to Cambodia. Avant son départ pour le but at that time he was not Mes a Paris resident, he stayed in another city. Il était dans une autre ville. 
M. Chao Seng était-il un ami de M. Kyusampan I do not know the level of their friendship because uh, he was uh, quite much older than me and I came to France in 1967 at a time where I was still uh, pretty young. And after the coup d'état, Mr. Chao Seng participated in the uh, Fung, but I did not know the level of uh, their relationship. Donc vous ne savez pas s'ils ont fait leurs études so ensemble à Montpellier, s'ils ont participé au même mouvement progressiste, s'ils se sont rencontrés quand ils étaient partis du gouvernement met, uh, dans le temps de, part, du régime de, du, de the, Sianouk. The government, uh, during, uh, Sianouk's regime. When he studied at Montpellier, I was still young and I did not know whether they knew each other well. Montpellier, but uh, I only met him actually uh, at the front, that is prior to the liberation si of the 17 April 1975. I met him in Paris, but it was not a frequent. Il m'est arrivé de le rencontrer à Paris, And of course, mais I knew that Mr. Chao Seng was a progressive person, and I knew that since I was a, a teenager back je in Cambodia. Depuis les années où j'étais un étudiant, ou plutôt un adolescent, se reprend l'interprète au Cambodge. Et savez-vous où est mort Chao Seng? And you know where Chao Seng died? No, I don't, your honor. Je ne le sais pas. Alors, je ne sais pas si je peux me le permettre. Well, mais I don't know uh, il semble que Monsieur Chao Seng soit mort à S21. Permissible, but I believe that uh, Chao Seng was died voilà, at S21. Mr. President, I have no further uh, witnesses, uh, questions to put to the witness, and I would like to thank him for his cooperation. Mr. President, I have no questions to put to the witness, and I would like to thank him for his cooperation. Thank you, Judge. The floor is now Merci. given to the Monsieur prosecution Juge. to put the questions to this witness. You may proceed. Pour l'interrogatoire du témoin. Good afternoon, Mr. Chao Sokan. My name is Keith Rayner, and I am one of the prosecutors in this case. Can I check, please, first of all, that you can hear me? Good afternoon, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes, I can hear you clearly. I'd like to start, please, by asking you some questions about crimes of violence. Do you consider that if a person is arrested and executed, that constitutes a crime of violence? It is my personal understanding and it is not related to any event. Any criminal needs to be put on trial. Do you consider executing somebody to be a crime of violence? Yes or no? Oui ou non? An execution of someone without a trial is not appropriate. This is my understanding. Sans le juger, cela n'est pas approprié. C'est ainsi que je vois les choses. What information did you receive 
from 1975 to 1979 de about arrests and executions in democratic Kampuchea. <coughs> During the Réponse. The regime that is from 1975 to 1979, we did not receive any news from the Republic of We only learned of the news minimally from the mm. press. And only later we learned of the conflict of the Republic of Cambodia and Vietnam. But I did not receive any first hand news from Cambodia during that period. Mr. Chow Sokan, documents on our case file, including, and I'm going to give the numbers for counsel. D313 slash 1.2.374 E3 slash 1.2.4 E3 slash 1.2.4 E3 that the Committee of Patriots in Paris published or broadcast the following material. The Democratic Kampuchea Constitution, firstly. Secondly, Phnom Penh radio broadcasts. Thirdly, speeches by Pol Pot. Fourthly, speeches by Ying Sari. Fifthly, a speech by Q Sompong given in Colombo in 1976. Next, the third anniversary speech by Q Sompong. Next, material in March 1977 through Nouvelle du Cambodge and also a monthly pictorial magazine. Is it your evidence that during your time in Paris, with the connections you had with the Committee of Patriots, that you did not see any of the material I have just gone through? I did not réponse. I do not have the documents that you just referred to in front of me Je now. Pas les yeux, les que vous However, avez I can uh, say, based on Cela my dit, collection, the documents broadcast on the radio que les were dependent on whether we radio, would receive it or not. And if we receive the documents, then we would copy those documents si for the uh, distributions, but I cannot recall the uh, specific si documents that you just non. referred to. Je ne me pas des que vous avez cités. So I understand your evidence correctly. Question. Are you saying that vous certain documents were published by the Committee of Patriots in Paris, Paris given to you you then copied them and distributed quoi, them further. Yes, I can say that I copied them and distributed them, but I cannot recall the exact documents that I distributed at the time, nor any document of that nature in front of me at the moment. It's been almost 40 years, so I can recall all those uh, documents. And we do not have these kinds of uh, documents uh, with me now. Did you go once or more than once to pick up documents? And can you remember where you went when you picked up the documents? Êtes-vous allé chercher ces documents Personally, I did not go to pick up the documents. It was the 
Cambodian embassy in Beijing who sent uh, the documents uh, via post through the address of the association. This is my recollection of uh, voilà the event. So was your only involvement to copy these documents? Donc, or did you have any other connection with the Committee of Patriots? I was a member of the association, an active member actually. So the distribution was not part of the broadcast. In fact, the broadcast would be a complete coverage of the document. Ce and whoever read the document and whatever they thought of the document was up to the views of the readers. Et le du At that visions. time, how interested were you in obtaining up-to-date information from your homeland? L'interprète se reprend, il s'agissait des lecteurs et non pas des dirigeants. Question, dans quelle mesure étiez-vous intéressé à recevoir des informations provenant de votre pays Réponse, les informations reçues n'étaient pas actualisées. Ça ne marchait pas aussi bien qu'aujourd'hui. Because at that time, the delivery was through the post office, so it, it took some time before the news reached us. Right, take a pause, please, Mr. Chow Sokan, and think about my next question. Please describe exactly what your contact was with the Committee of Patriots. Mr. Prosecutor, I just uh, spoke about that. Maybe Monsieur you did not hear it. Je viens parler. Let me repeat. I was entendu. a member of that committee, committee or association. Ou de cette association. But in fact, it is an association. En it's réalité, not a political committee. Une association et pas un comité politique. Based on the uh, European structure, it was indeed an association. D'après les structures européennes, c'était une association. You've mentioned a visit to Romania in 1974. Document number E3 slash 3315, being a U.S. State Department document, shows that that visit had concluded by the 2nd of May 1974. In March 1974, en mars, events 1974, happened in Udon. Udon. Are you aware of a broadcast or information coming from Q Sampan on the 5th of April 1974? Ou bien when he stated de this, au cours de laquelle il aurait affirmé ce qui suit. And I refer for these purposes to E3 slash 167. I quote, on the 18th of March, our People's mars, National Liberation Armed Forces liberated another city, Udon, by annihilating all the puppet soldiers there, along with their reinforcements. In other words, over 5,000 enemies were eliminated, 1,500 of whom were captured. Did that information ever come to you?
allow me to say that I do not have the document that you just referred to in front of me. And secondly, during the time that I met with Kiss and Paul, it was brief. And Kiss and Paul never gave us detailed information. This is my recollection of the event. And I cannot recall anything related to the event occurring in Udong. So we're as clear as you can be, given the lapse of time. Is it your evidence that, to the best of your recollection, Q. Sampon never mentioned to you in Romania annihilating enemies? It is my recollection that he spoke about the general situation, but not any specific situation such as Udong. I cannot even recall the word Udong. Thank you. Do I understand your evidence correctly that based on your knowledge of Q. Sampan, he made no contribution from 1975 to 1979, for instance, on the policy of arresting and executing people. What I can to, uh, tell the court is based on my understanding that between 1975 to 1979, the arrests were not uh, part of the responsibility of the president of the state uh, presidium. For that reason, he was not connected to this kind of events, and he would not have the authority to do so. This is my understanding. Mr. Charles Sokan, do you know that Q. Sampon has admitted to the investigating judges in this case that he, together with Duan, were the only two members of an office called Office 870. Do you know anything about this? No, I don't, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Do you know that Q. Sampan has stated to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges that one of the functions of Office 870 was to monitor suspected members of the party on behalf of the Standing Committee? No, I don't. Did you know that? The chairman of Office 870 had the duty to keep track of the implementation of Standing Committee's policy decisions. No, I don't. Do you know that Office 870 was one of the offices given authority to make decisions on smashing people within and outside the ranks of the Communist Party of Kampuchea? No, I don't, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Do you know that in a Voice of America interview, E3-630, Q. Sampon told the interviewer that he worked in Office 870. I do not know about this information because I rarely listen to the VOA broadcast. Do you know that in this interview, Q. Sampon said 
describing Office 870 that this was, quote, my office, close quotes. No, I do not know that. Non, je sais rien. Did you know that in this document, Mr. Q. Sampon gave information about Duan being arrested? Donner des informations sur l'arrestation de Dunn Non, je ne le Réponse non. Do you know Question. that in an interview between Ying Sari and a professional called Stephen Hedder on Steve the 4th of Hedder, January 1999 that Ying Sari confirmed that Q Sampon was appointed to the chairmanship of Office 870 no, I don't, non. Mr. Prosecutor. Monsieur le Procureur. Do you have any Question. knowledge of Q. Sompan working directly with Pol Pot to ensure si the proper implementation Q. of Sampan decisions? A travaillé directement avec Pol Pot pour assurer la bonne mise en œuvre des décisions. Regarding the Réponse. working relationship between Pol Pot and Kisum Pon, it was beyond uh, my uh, knowledge because I was uh, in, I was overseas. Moi, à Are you aware Question. that Q Sompon has told the investigating judge in this case that he did not learn of any single arrest before 1979? avant 1979. Non, I don't. How should I know? Because he spoke to the investigating judge. Il a dit ça au juge d'instruction et pas à moi. Did Q ever say to Question. you about his knowledge of Réponse. No, he didn't. Non. He didn't talk to me about the address Il in Paris when I met him. Pas parlé d'arrestation quand je l'ai rencontré Because à Paris. Because he was there to prepare for the Paris Il Peace Court, uh, and he did not mention about any arrests. Il n'a parlé d'aucune arrestation. Have the defense team or any others ever shown Question. you a document from the standing committee of the 8th of March 1976 showing that Q Sampon attended a standing committee meeting when arrests were mentioned? Response. No. Réponse. No. I have had no contact with the defense counsel regarding this Khmer Rouge tribunal or relevant documents at all. Tribunal, ni concernant les documents, uh, Are you aware that Q Sampan has told the investigating judges that he was aware of disappearances of members of the Central Committee and the Standing Committee. Membres du Comité Central et du Comité Permanent. Response. Réponse. Whatever Kilson Pond mentioned to the co-investigators. Uh, is not known to me. Je ne suis pas au courant de ce que Do you have any explanation for the fact Question. that of 16 former Grunk and Funk colleagues of Q Sampon, nine were executed during the DK period? Response. I only knew about the execution at a very later date. It is after the 1979 when I heard about this news on newspapers. Early on, this piece of information would never be communicated to us and there was no news about this. Do you know anything about Q Sompon? 
being a note taker at secret meetings of the standing committee. Response. No, I don't. Réponse. No. Do you know anything? Question. I'm pausing because I see one of my learned friends Je is on his feet. Je vois que mon confrère de la partie adverse se lève. The president of the National Council for Mr. Kusampan. L'avocat national de Kusampan, vous avez la parole. Council. Thank Maître you, Mr. Kung President. Merci, we have noted that Mr. Co-Prosecutor has referred uh, in his questions to some Monsieur documents, but uh, he has failed to refer to questions. the documents. Mais and when he mentioned that Mr. Kilsenpon was a minutes taker, or note taker in a meeting of the standing committee, he has also failed to refer to that precise document in putting such document. question. So my humble request is that Dans Mr. President, the co-prosecutor should be guided to refer to the document before putting the question. Mr. President, this is entirely valid um, objection, and I apologize to my learned friend. Monsieur the last detail was extracting from Stephen Hedder's book, Seven Candidates, E3-48. The English ERN is 00393581, French 00729659, and Khmer 00742617. The footnote in that refers to an article by Nate Thayer called Death in Detail, and it relates to information that came from Doik. Mr. Chao Sokan, am I right in saying that you have absolutely no knowledge whatsoever of what contact Q Sampon had with King Sihanouk during the period 1975? to 1979. Response. Kilsen Pond's relationship with King Nordam Sinuk uh, was in place, but to what extent, I don't bien, know. At that time, I knew that uh, Prince Nordam Sinuk uh, was uh, very close to Mr. Kyosampan. Do I take it right that you have absolutely no knowledge about meetings of the Standing Committee and how often Kyosampan attended such permanent. meetings? et sur la fréquence de la présence de Kyo Sampan à ces réunions. Response. Yes, you, you do. Réponse. Oui, vous avez raison. Now, you spoke in Question. part about what was happening with Funk and Gronk. Vous avez After parlé the 17th of April 1975, what, if anything, did you know about a new constitution for democratic Kampuchea and who had written it, if anything? Response. Réponse. I understand your question, but who wrote uh, the Constitution? I don't know. Did you see a copy of the Constitution when you were in Paris? Or any other date when you were in France between 1975 onwards? Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. Personally, I didn't. Non. 
Did you ever hear anything about elections taking place in Cambodia? Sorry, I should have said after, well, in early 1976. Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. I did not know non. clearly about this. And as I already, you, uh, already said uh, uh, that during this period of sujet, time, no news uh, would be heard uh, among us. Did you ever hear anything about a connection between Q Sompon and reading out confessions in Cambodia? Response. I have no idea about this. Réponse. Je ne sais rien à ce sujet. Do you remember Question. listening to, at any stage, broadcasts made by Q. Sampan in 1976 talking about maintaining a spirit of revolutionary vigilance? And can I indicate to my learned friends that that is based on seven candidates, English ERN 00393584, 000 French 00729661, Khmer, Double zero seven four two six two zero through to two one. So can I just repeat the question again? Your awareness of speeches by Q Sompon in nineteen seventy six talking about maintaining a spirit of revolutionary vigilance against their enemies. The President, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, co you may be seated uh, now because we have internet connection problem.
The President, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may now continue. It would be good if you can repeat uh, your question again because uh, it was not properly conveyed to the witness. Mr. Chow Sokan, I'm going to repeat my last question. Did you ever listen to a first anniversary speech in April 1976 when Coupe Sampon spoke about people having to maintain a spirit of revolutionary vigilance against their enemies? Response. No, I didn't at that time. Did you ever listen to, when you were in France, a second anniversary speech by Q. Sampon when he spoke of these issues? Firstly, suppressing all categories of enemies. Secondly, wiping out the enemy. Thirdly, doing it neatly and thoroughly. And fourthly, continuing to fight and suppress all strikes of enemy at all times. Response. No, I didn't. Response. No. Did you ever listen Question. to a third anniversary speech which was broadcast by the Committee of Patriots in Paris? A bien été diffusé par le Comité des Patriotes à Paris. In Sampon spoke of these issues. I refer from a learned friend's note-taking to E3-1389. Firstly, exterminating resolutely all agents of the Vietnamese. Secondly, exterminating resolutely all CIA, CIA agents. And thirdly, exterminating the enemies of all strikes. Tout type d'ennemi. L'avez-vous écouté? Response. Réponse. You, you mentioned about meeting in Paris. Vous avez mentionné. To Respond to your question. I didn't hear anything about this because I did not always attend any meetings at this committee in Paris. How many meetings did you attend of this committee meet of this committee in Paris? Approximately. Avez-vous assisté à Paris à peu près? Response. I do Réponse. not take note of the frequency, but uh, there were on several occasions that I attended uh, the meetings. Laquelle, uh, when you attended such meetings, were people ever talking about deaths in Cambodia? Que des gens de mort au Cambodge? Response. Réponse. As I already indicated, uh, we did not indiqué, know anything about this uh, during the period of 1975 and 1979. Entre 1975 et I want to be clear, Mr. Sokhan Chow. Is it your evidence to this tribunal? that in the whole of the period from 1975 to 1979, when you were in Paris, you never heard anybody that you had any connection with ever speak 
jamais entendu qui que ce soit dans votre entourage parler de gens qui mouraient de faim au Cambodge. Réponse. It is correct. I never Réponse heard anyone exact. mention Je anything jamais about entendu this. Qui que ce soit parler de cela. Did you ever hear about false accusations being made against people? Parler de fausses allégations formulées à l'encontre de gens. Response: No, I didn't. Réponse: Non. By 1979, relying on the information you had, how many people did you think had died in Kampuchea from 1975 to 1979? Response. No, I didn't uh, know about this because we non, did not receive rien. any pieces of information from within Cambodia regarding this. Some newspapers uh, may make uh, mention about this, but I cannot or I am not in a position to say exactly or to tell you whether their judgment was right. Si Prior to the liberation of Phnom Penh on the 17th of April 1975, did you listen to any broadcasts speaking about killing the seven traitors? Response, no, I didn't. I want to seek, as Judge Laverne has done, to try and summarize your evidence. J'aimerais faire, euh, comme l'a fait le juge de Laverne, euh, un résumé de vos déclarations. Is it fair that you never worked with Kyu Sampan? dire que vous n'avez jamais travaillé avec Kyu Sampan. Response: Yes, Réponse. it is. I never worked oui, uh, directly cela, with him. Je jamais travaillé directement avec lui. You never lived in Cambodia Question. from the vécu au 1960s onwards. À partir des is that correct? 1960. Est exact? Response: Réponse. Yes, it is. I never oui, lived exact. in Cambodia since Je 1967, but I did um, pay a visit to my country on some occasions, and as I told you, I went to Cambodia in 2002 et and 2005 when I met uh, Mr. Pon in Pailin and in on Long Wang. So all in all, I can say that I never donc, remained in Cambodia during this period of time. You were in Paris. Question. You were a member of the Cambodian community. You sometimes attended meetings of the Vous Committee of Patriots. Du des Patriots. But, but I mean, how interested were you in what was going on in your country? Weren't you desperate to get as much information as you could? Vouliez-vous pas absolument obtenir le plus d'informations possible? Response. Réponse. I think if if we go back to this period of time, at that time there si was no en, not enough information for us to analyze. And when it comes to the evacuation of the population, we had to analyze based on the very limited uh, uh, information we obtained. Final question from me is this. What question. was the most important document 
that you read in France about what was going on in Kampuchea? Response. There were not plentiful of important documents that I read and I find it difficult to respond to your question because at that time we based our an analysis uh, of reading of the situation on the very limited sources of information so with that I can say I don't know how important that piece of information was because we didn't have enough information. Just one other question. Is it fair for me to summarize? You tell me if I'm wrong. Is it fair for me to summarize that your evidence about the character of Q-Sampan is based on limited information? Response. No, when it comes non. to this information about Kusampan, I think I have gathered ample sources of information uh, over a period of time because uh, he has been always a person who earns my respect, who earns my interest to know about him. But this piece of information did not or were not channeled to me in 1975 through 1979, but over a period of time, I gathered more information about him. Thank you, Mr. Chao Sokan. That ends the questions from the prosecution, and I'd like to hand over, please, to my colleagues, uh, the lead co-lawyers for the civil parties. Thank you very much for answering my questions. The President. Thank you. Now, we would like uh, to hand over Merci. to the lead co lawyers for La the civil parties. Des Count So Pek Ang. Good afternoon, Mr. President and Your Honours, uh, Councils Bonjour, Lao Junti and Pascal Oboin. I will be putting the questions. Aubin. The President, you may proceed, Councils. Council Lao Junti. Good afternoon, Maître Mr. Lao President Junti. and Your Honours. Uh, good afternoon, everyone in this courtroom. Bonjour. And Monsieur le Président, Everyone outside uh, of this courtroom and those who follow the proceedings through the internet connection. I am Lao Junti, counsel for the civil parties. I am a lawyer for from Legal Aid of Cambodia organization. I have a few questions for you. And quelques questions à vous poser. Good morning to you, Mr. Chao Sukun. Bonjour, Response, uh, good morning, Mr. Réponse. Bonjour, Lao Junti. Question. question first. My question is, you said uh, you were born in Kampuchea Crown. And you went to Sisovat High School and you educated in Paris. Do you know a person by the name of Chao Sao who was born in Kampuchea Kram or are you related to him? Response. I know Mr. Chao Sao very well because his wife Chao is related Sao, to my father. Son Question. Do you know where he is now? A des liens de parenté avec mon père. Response. I have lost uh, information about uh, him and his family. Perhaps he 
and uh, his wife have died. Uh, I heard that they died. I just don't know where they died or evacuated too. Question. Did you know what Mr. Chao Sao did and where? Response. He worked at a bank. He was the president of a national credit institution. Question. I have some follow up questions. Uh, the co prosecutor asked you questions uh, concerning your analysis regarding the evacuation of the people from Phnom Penh. Are you able to tell the chamber how uh, enthusiastic uh, you engaged in discussion about this in France? Response. When it comes to evacuation, uh, we learned very little about this, and I also obtained some information from other individuals who shared the same view. They said, and we agree, that uh, we support uh, the Funk, de, de and that later on, uh, the city was liberated, country was liberated, then the population was evacuated. Our an analysis was that in 1975, when en the war was still on, and there, uh, the population of Phnom Penh was small, but during the time when the Americans dropped bombs on, on the border area and other battlefields, Cambodian people who were terrified by these bombings had to take refuge in the capital city of Cambodia. So the number of people increased uh, to several millions. And the food would be shipped from Prenoko by ship or air planes. So I can say that there was no other option than evacuating the population of Phnom Penh into the rural area because if uh, bombs were to be dropped in the city, no people could have died other than the civilians because Phnom Penh was too overcrowded and that uh, these people had to be returned to where they were from originally. And also, we believed that the evacuation was temporary because we were convinced also that if the situation was uh, maintained, if the, the situation was under control at a, a later date, then these people would then be allowed to return. Thank you, Mr. Jasakun. Question. You raised a few points in your response. Dans votre réponse, and my question is that, uh, of course, later on, you knew that uh, there were hardship facing the people who evacuated and uh, some died. Uh, what is your opinion on that? Des difficultés et que certains étaient morts. And uh, regarding the death of réponse. the people, it is a pity that the people died. C'est malheureux que des gens soient morts. I was sad of the news. They died uh, of sickness or they died along the, the way out. De maladie. But the question that you need to consider is if they were not to be, they were not evacuated, what would happen to them? For example, in terms of food supply. And I like to open a, a bracket here that Et une we 
have had issues uh, with Vietnam not only after 1979 And that you said that there, there were no other alternatives regarding this matter. Then the, the question to you is that vous was this a common question. practice elsewhere by the uh, revolution throughout the world? Vous avez parlé de votre tristesse. Vous avez dit qu'il n'y pas d'autre solution. Mais est-ce que vous pensez? And of course, I am not a leading politician and knows everything for all the country. I only réponse. touch upon the issue of what happened in Cambodia Moi, and what was the best option at the time. Et je and sur as I just stated, qui était la the issue is to je evacuate dit, or not to evacuate. La de s'il ou non Thank you. À Question. Une Now we go back to the question. previous question that I asked you regarding Chao Sao. Je question précédente sur Chao Sao. Do you know of the relationship between Kiu Sampon and Chao Sao? Connaissez-vous la nature des relations entre cette personne et Kiu Sampon? And so I Réponse. do not know of their relationship. No. I went to visit him at his house in Turkok only for a short period of time. Sometimes I met Turkok him, sometimes I did not, and I only met his mother-in-law. Je l'ai rencontré certaines fois. Parfois, je ne voyais que sa belle-mère, et nos rencontres Question. étaient brèves. Did you know? Or do you know Question. of his uh, educational background? Answer. He, in fact, uh, he studied in uh, France, et and then he réponse, returned. Il est allé and en France, uh, he puis then got married with his wife. His il wife was a distant relative of my father, and I went to visit him at his house, as I just stated. Mon père, et comme je dit, je suis allé Thank lui you. Rendre visite chez lui. Question. Question. Regarding the statement that you just made, that you made Vous and knew about the Kiel Sampon since you was a teenager, connaissiez and you also said that vous étiez you knew quite a lot, because you knew about him since 1967 Avez-vous reçu des informations I did not receive any news, but it is my understanding that I regret for what happened during the Democratic Cambodia because they did not have the opportunity to rebuild the country due to the war situation. Le pays à cause de la And the war started since late 1977, and that is what I regret. Cela the que prosecutor je asked me that he, Mr. Kitsumpon, talked about this or about La that to this judge or to that person. I did not know si because he did not talk to me about that. A juge ou à telle personne, moi je n'en sais rien. À moi, il ne m'en a pas parlé. Question. Mr. Chasukun, you Monsieur acknowledge Kémon. the past uh, activities of Kitsumpon, and the, the the question is. His position, he, his previous position and his position that you met him last, what des de did Kyo you observe? Was there any change? Des Answer, it is, is my opinion fois, that his pure stance remains unchanged. Je pense que sa his patriotic stance remains unchanged to me when I met him pas last time, that is in 2005. 
And let me repeat, this is my personal opinion. Je le répète, c'est mon avis personnel. I am of the view, and here I'm only referring to him. Ici, je parle de lui uniquement. I'm of the view that he is a person of rare quality. Que c'est quelqu'un qui possède and des qualités rares. And I am a rares. witness before this court je is to contribute to the fact findings of this court. Je le fais pour because this court is faits. trying to ascertain Ce the truth. Vise à and of course, I myself uh, want to find justice for Mr. Kiyosumpon. La justice pour Monsieur Thank Kiyosumpon. you. I have a, another question, Mr. Kiyosumpon. Question. In the past, uh, Mr. Kiyosumpon joined the resistance the for uh, justice, but after he was in power, did he provide justice to the people? President, Mr. Witness, uh, please uh, observe some pause. There is Le an objection from the uh, counsel for Mr. Kiyosampon. Counsel for Mr. Kiyosampon, you may proceed. On. Thank you, Maître Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'd like your honor to direct the assigned uh, lawyer to be specific when he spoke that when Mr. Kiesempon came into power, précis. is there any document Il that he can refer to? Du moment où que son pan était arrivé au If pouvoir, so, please do so. Thank you. Peut nous présenter certains documents? Si oui, il serait bon de le faire. Lagenti. Maître Lagenti. Regarding relevant documents concerning Kiesempon. Les documents yes. pertinents sur Kiesempon. There, are, there is a document that he was appointed as the uh, president of the state, so it means he had the power within the Democratic Kampuchea. Il détenait du pouvoir sous le régime du Kampuchea démocratique. President. Le président. The chamber is of the view that we need to hear the response from la the witness to the question put to him by the assigned lawyer for civil party. For that reason, the objection is not sustained. Mr. Witness, you are now instructed Monsieur to respond témoin, to the last question put to you by the assigned lawyer for civil parties. Des parties civiles. Witness. Le témoin. It is easy for me to respond. Il m'est facile de répondre. 
Of course, uh, in all the newspapers and the media Donc, in the West, they all said about the nominal role of uh, Kim Sung Pong. Kim Sung Pong was only a nominal head of state, and it is well known throughout the West. Il était chef d'État uniquement Thank en you, titre, et Council. cela est bien connu dans les pays occidentaux. In document E3-1701, which is the confession of Lien Sereivut, who writes in his confession that Mr. Chao Sukun is the, within the link of three main hood. And so, yes, I know three main hood. He was in the same class with me. However, counsel, that kind of confession cannot be used because it was obtained under torture. Thank you, Mr. Chao Sukun. I have no further question for you, and I'd like to hand the floor to my colleague. Thank you, Mr. President. Court officer, can you check with the AV unit whether there is a need to change the DVD? Vérifier avec la régie s'il faut changer de DVD. President, Le President, Litcologia, you may proceed. La parole est aux avocats de la partie civile. Euh, bonjour, Monsieur le Président, good Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges, Mr. Bonjour à tous ici présents dans le à la galerie. Good Monsieur good le témoin, bonjour. Je vais clôturer cette journée avec très peu de questions. La première, avez-vous été ou êtes-vous membre ou sympathisant du Parti communiste français Non. No, Deuxième question, question Monsieur le témoin, savez-vous pour quel crime, de quel crime M. Kessampan est accusé devant cette chambre I know that he accused of committing the crimes, but of course it is up to the court to find the truth. Mais c'est au tribunal de découvrir la vérité, bien entendu. In particular, please try to find the evidence. En particulier, il s'agira de trouver des preuves. Ce n'était pas la question, question je, je vous demandais de quel crime 
Monsieur Kessampan est accusé devant cette chambre. Which crimes is Mr. Kessampan being prosecuted for before this chamber? I don't have any uh, document with me, but only heard that through the media he was accused of uh, other crimes, including the genocide. J'ai su qu'il était accusé de différents crimes, y compris de génocide. That is a war crime and a genocide. crime de guerre. But I don't have any concrete uh, court uh, document with me. De document du tribunal en ma possession. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Alors, vous pouvez consulter euh, well, de, sur le site du tribunal l'ordonnance de clôture uh, des juges d'instruction. Uh, euh, avant dernière question, website, Monsieur le témoin, au cours de vos quatre rencontres avec Kessampan, pourriez-vous nous dire brièvement quels sont les thèmes dont vous avez discuté For the first meeting in 1974, it was not a one-to-one -one meeting, it was a group meeting, and it was a rather brief when we were in Budapest uh, city. It was just a casual meeting, asking one another about uh, how we did, and he spoke about the resistance, about the situation uh, in uh, the country. And in 1989, that is the second meeting in uh, Paris, La deuxième fois, His role was to uh, attend uh, the meeting in preparation for the Paris Peace uh, Agreement in Paris. Des de paix de Paris. And at that time, the meeting was also brief. It was a cordial meeting. L'atmosphère était détendue. And I'd like to remind you that at that time I also followed the news regarding the process of the Paris Peace Agreement and Mr. Kissenpon was one of the signatory of the agreement which carries a broader meaning for him for he himself and for the third meeting in Thailand it was during a religious a ceremony I met him at a pagoda and the fourth meeting was in Anlongwe it was also rather brief after I left Siem Reap the meeting was in the afternoon and it was kind of a cordial meeting a eu lieu durant l'après-midi et elle s'est déroulée dans une atmosphère cordiale Merci, Monsieur le témoin. You, euh, au cours des quatre rencontres que vous avez eues avec Kessampan, euh, auriez-vous constaté chez Kessampan une tendance à dissimuler certaines parties de sa vie attempted to hide moi, anything, je pas and in fact we put questions to him, how he went uh, by in his day-to-day uh, -day activities, and about uh, his personal safety, and he said that he had no concern at all, he used a public transport, je sur sa and there is personnelle. nothing else uh, for me to ask. Il ne connaissait pas de problème et qu'il utilisait les transports publics. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Avez-vous discuté de son rôle politique pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique Nous n'en avons pas beaucoup parlé. During the chit chatting, there was no specific conversation. On n'a pas abordé de questions précises. Merci pour votre réponse. Thank ma dernière question, serait-il juste de dire qu'en réalité, vous ne connaissez rien you know du rôle politique joué par que Kessampan pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique The, the knowledge of uh, his uh, other roles, I only knew of his position in the diplomatic nature and that he was in a nominal position, and that's all. Merci, Monsieur le Témoin.
Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Pour en, en forme de conclusion, pensez-vous avoir quelque chose à l'occasion de cette audience sur M. Kusampan et son rôle pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique Je n'ai rien à ajouter. His main role during the time was the president of the state presidium, and as I stated earlier, the the West in the West, the, the media and the press spoke of uh, his role, which was uh, of uh, its uh, nominal nature. Qu'il exerçait uniquement en titre. Je n'ai plus de questions. Je vous remercie, no Monsieur le Président. Mr. Chao Sukun, the Monsieur hearing Chao of your testimony has now concluded. The bench and the parties Et have no further questions for you, and we are grateful for you Nous that you spent your valuable time for this afternoon uh, proceeding with uh, patience and effort. Your testimony may contribute to ascertaining the truth in this case. And we wish you all the best, good health and prosperity. And goodbye, Mr. Chao Sukun. Witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Goodbye. Maybe you need you may not disconnect the teleconferencing uh, from France. The proceeding today has come to an end, and we will adjourn now, and we will resume tomorrow morning. That is Thursday, the 23rd of May 2013, commencing from 9 a.m. And for tomorrow, we will hear the testimony of TCCP. 187. And the civil party will be questioned first by Kiel's and Pons defense team. This is information from the publics and for the parties. Security guards, you are instructed to take the true accused back to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom tomorrow morning prior to 9 a.m. As for Nunchi, bring him to the holding cell downstairs, which is equipped with audio-visual equipment for him to follow the proceedings. The court is now adjourned.